and we start thinking people's judgment because people say Allah will never forgive you. But what they're really saying is I will never forgive you. I'm gonna give the guys a turn this time, but I'll give you one. Go ahead. If you guys wanna. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when you're always like giving one as like an upgrade. Yeah. Like, because usually like the test comes from the outside. But what if it's like inside, like internal? Like how, for example, like when you did something really bad that you're really unsure how do you can actually forgive yourself because sort of like you did something a long time ago and now you're like your past caught up with you and you just think like everything is messed up because of what you did like how do you can actually forgive yourself so when you have a hard time forgiving yourself it's usually because people have convinced you that you're unforgivable and they have planted that idea in your head, right? Because they're bringing it back up. And then you start thinking that that's your own thought. It's not your own thought. Because Allah gave us a relief from that. Allah told us that when someone makes istighfar, when someone repents and asks for forgiveness, it's done. There's no, there's no reason to go back to that same mistake again. E even something as serious as murder, like in the case of Musa alayhi salam, when he accidentally murdered someone, immediately he asked for forgiveness and immediately Allah forgave him. And it's not because he was a prophet, because he wasn't even a prophet yet when that happened. So that was for every believer, right? So what happens is we start, we start underestimating how much Allah forgives and we start thinking people's judgment because people say Allah will never forgive you. But what they're really saying is I will never forgive you. So we confuse people's judgment with Allah's judgment. And then we make that our own judgment. If Allah won't even forgive me, how can I even forgive myself? That is true. Right? So you have to detox from that with the word of Allah. The word of Allah is telling you when you made a mistake, yes, and people will bring it up and people will use it against you, like Fir'aun used the killing against Musa. But that doesn't mean Allah didn't forgive. You have to be clear about your relationship with Allah, separate from your relationship and your comments from people. Even though like the person cannot forgive you. So like... And we're going to talk about forgiveness in the fourth episode. Not the third one, the third one's about jealousy. But the fourth one will be about forgiveness. Yes, yes. And this young man over here. Yeah, young man. You got the millennials. You always mention about the modernity, right? Yeah. Um, how we deal with the modernity if we, the millennials, wants to. Uh, yeah, as a Muslim millennials, want to fit with this modernity, but we want to enjoy this uh, Islam with this modernity. Well, You're but, already doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, how? <laughs> but sometimes I cannot really You're a millenni millennial yeah. and you're here. Uh, yeah. Where's the complication? <laughs> the complication is I cannot relate with my circle, not only in this circle, but in other circle in my company, in my uh, community. That's I'm not, cannot, I cannot relate with them. So how can we uh, give them the hikmah or we can have a, to be dominant as a Muslim? I think that Islam is firstly about principles and when you demonstrate that your principles even at the company even in your other environments make you a better employee make you a better manager make you a better person then the, those those qualities start speaking for themselves you know so and, and you're you're the most reliable person in the company like you know Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam we were told about him innaka ala khuluqin azim He's, he has a great character, right? So one of the evidences of the truth of Islam was his character, right? So in this environment where Islam is associated with extremism, with narrow-mindedness, with backwardness and all those things, your character can break those stereotypes. Not your words, but your character. If the loneliness is the difficulty, it's not. It's, not, it's okay, right? That's okay. Loneliness, is, it comes with Islam. People that follow the right way will always be more isolated, right? But then Allah will give them each other's company. Hey everyone, you just watched me answer a question somebody had about the Quran. I'm sure you have many questions about the Quran yourself. 
A lot of these questions get answered in the deeper look study myself and my team do and turn into a series of the Quran uh, on the deeper look series available at bayinatv.com. So get your questions answered sometimes even without having to ask them by studying these surahs in depth with us at bayinatv.com under the deeper look section.